Hello and welcome to my review of the Death Guard Death Shroud Terminators. This set will cost you £35. It's a fair bit of money for just three uh, plastic miniatures. One could argue that they're similar sort of sizes are, you know, regular Terminators, but they are, in fact, a bit bigger. You could also say that they're roughly £11.50 each which isn't too bad when you consider the sort of standalone models for £15 in, in the clamshell because uh, they're definitely bigger than those. So what I'm going to do is, like always, just have a look at the models individually in the configuration that I've modelled them in. Uh, then I'll do some size comparisons. I'll show you the spare parts and then I'll go through the rules and give you a bit of a summary. So this is the layout I've gone for. You pick a champion and you pick two terminators. So. Let's just start with the champion. So this guy is the champion. I've tried to keep them all similar with these uh, hoods on. I didn't want a helmetless um, face on them. On them, I wanted them all sort of shrouded um, with these hoods. So that's what I've gone for. Also, the uh, front plate uh, is a little bit different than the one on the box uh, in the in the sense that it doesn't have this big gaping mouth. Now there are a few Death Guard uh, models that I do have the uh, mouth with the teeth, but uh, I just decided to go for one with um, you know some some boils on instead. But as you can see, lots of detail going on with this. Uh, all of the uh, smoke and the flies that I've applied on. All of the three models completely optional. You don't necessarily need to put them on. You could just leave them without. Uh, it's it's completely up to you. So this champion, I've gone for the two uh, plague spurt gauntlets. I'll talk about those rules uh, later on. But these are uh, man reapers. These scythes are uh, absolutely huge. Um, again, I didn't go for the scythe that looked like Mortarians with the chain blade on the on the on the tip. Uh, I've gone for the scythe that fits in with the other two uh, standard terminators. So yeah, as you can see, lots of detail going on, lots of cracks and bone coming out, spikes, uh, tattered sort of robe hanging from the cataphracty armour, and uh, some skin coming out of the, the leg there. Um, so yeah, lots of detail on these. Um, they're going to be great to paint. Then uh, this guy, just a standard uh, Death Shroud Terminator with his scythe uh, raised up quite high um, with a tentacle arm sort of helping him with the swing. That's his Plague Spurt Gauntlet, and uh, he's got this lovely horn coming out of his uh, hood. Um, so yeah, lots of detail on the sides. Each side, I must say, is is completely unique. They're all slightly different. Got some chainmail sort of hanging off there, and another sort of cloak, and some uh, flies coming out of the top. Um, this nice front plate as well, uh, with some chainmail and pieces of armour at the front. So that's that one, and then we'll look at this one again, uh, raising his scythe in sort of a low swinging motion, um, some chainmail and icons and a, a head at the front, uh, sort of screaming in pain. Um, and this guy's armour is uh, sort of cracked, and there's some putrid skin sort of coming out. Nice plague spurt gauntlet there as well. Uh, on the alternative uh, hand to the the other Terminator, and again with the shroud and some spikes coming out of the armour and the flies and another sort of cloak and this time um, this tentacle is holding a grenade it's really odd because the tentacle is holding this grenade that looks like a kind of phosphex grenade that's on uh, Mortarion's uh, model but in reality none of these have grenades which is a bit of a shame but uh, there we go and uh, I think this detail I explained in the unboxing I love the detail like this where it sort of gives you a cut out uh, view of, of the detail inside so that's the third one. I think they're great looking models. Um, they've got a lot of presence. Uh, so now let me show you some size comparisons. So firstly, I'll just uh, compare them to other models in the Death Guard range. So this is my finished um, Death Guard uh, Plague Marine. So does uh, does dwarf a sort of standard Plague Marine. Um, it's probably best if I show you like that to give a height comparison. So there you go, does dwarf one of them, definitely get a lot more presence, especially with that scythe. So that's uh, that comparison. Next to a Terminator, which I know was a, a, a popular request. I did actually put a few uh, photos of the size comparisons on my Instagram um, because people wanted to, to see them uh, compared to other models in the Death Guard range. Um, and here it is next to a Blight Lord Terminator. As you can see, they the heads the tops of the heads actually 
um, go higher than the Blight Lord Terminator, so they are bigger. Look where the armor sits as well. It's almost like another shoulder um, higher. So the, the bases are the same size. Um, I would have thought they'd look a bit silly on, on the 50 mil bases, uh, but, uh, but there you go. Hope that helps that they are that much bigger that much more of a presence than the Blight Lord. And the Blight Lords have uh, you know, a fair bit of presence too. So there you go, that's a size comparison with those. And then finally uh, with Typhus, I don't know whether it's much of a good uh, size comparison, maybe because he would work quite well with them. Definitely the nice theme of this little uh, selection here is all the scythes. And the scythes are actually all the same size. I, I thought that then Typhus's would be bigger, but it's not, it's the same size. Uh, scythe as the other um, death shrouds, which is awesome. But as you can see, um, Typhus, because he's standing on that um, like rock debris, uh, he does look um, a bit bigger, um, and he's more in a sort of active kind of pose. But in reality, if you look where his shoulder plate is, he probably comes out the same size. But he's, he's just raising that up um, to give the impression of, of of him being bigger. And plus, he's on this uh, 50 mil base as well. So I thought that that would be an interesting comparison too. I'll just compare them with some uh, imperial size comparisons. So we've got a, a standard uh, Space Marine here. Um, as you can see, completely dwarfs a, a, a Space Marine. Um, I mean, one could envisage uh, this scythe um, sweeping down and cleaving uh, one of these guys in two um, quite easily. Um, and then we, we look at the Primaris. Primaris uh, gives them a bit bit more run for his money but still um, not quite as tall as this death round and then finally um, just for giggles we'll show you the a, a normal sort of terminator so dwarfs a normal terminator base again same size base but uh, the death round definitely has a lot more detail and uh, is much taller and these death shroud have more detail than the the cataphracty um, Terminators, which are actually five pounds more. I know you get five, but they're five pound more, and they'll be a similar sort of size as that Terminator, um, with a lot less detail. And finally, I'll just uh, compare them to Mortarian because I might as well. Um, so I think they work quite well with Mortarian as like a bodyguard. Um, yes, he is a huge model, but uh, if you've got another three of these, then uh, I think it would work better as a bodyguard. But uh, but there you go, just just a little comparison there with Mortarion. This is the part of the video where I just go through the spare parts. Um, so here they are here. Uh, you can almost count them on one hand. Um, so this is the front um, armor that I talked about with the, the mouth and the tongue and the teeth and everything. Um, it, it's quite a decent piece, but I, I chose the other um, armor. Then uh, this is the alternative scythe for the champion. It's a lot like Mortarion's with this uh, chain blade aspect to the tip. Um, a different set of um, shoulder pauldrons. Uh, you've got a few different heads. So you've got this one um, without a uh, helmet. And then you've got three that are hooded. Um, this one's quite decent for another champion. And then you've got this one, which is a chainmail kind of one. Uh, then you've got like this, which would normally go in in place of the sort of additional plate burst gauntlet on the uh, champion. And then you've got some some bells. So there you go. There are all the spare parts. Um, in terms of uh, getting another set, uh, yes, I probably would get another set, but they're going to start to look quite samey uh, after the second set. The reason being because. Uh, the only difference in size is just this one, whereby you can just change it for Mortarians, but all the poses are going to be exactly the same. Uh, all the armor is going to be exactly the same, um, except for the pauldrons, the front plate, and the, and the scythe tip uh, for the champion. If I were to get a second set, um, I'd try and use these three heads that I didn't use before. Um, I'd definitely use that front plate and this, but I wouldn't use this uh, armor piece um, I think I'd go for a second um, Plague Spurt Gauntlet again, and I'd go with the bells as well. But you're going to be left with uh, three models in exactly the same pose, uh, um, unfortunately. Um, so to mix it up, yes, uh, you could use the different front plate. You could take the smoke and the flies off uh, the other three if you were to get those, and you could change the heads. But other than that, the legs, 
uh, and the top part and the poses are going to look the same. Another way to overcome that would be probably to buy the Forge World Death Shroud Terminators, but in my opinion, it's far too much work uh, to sort of customize them and modify them with green stuff, put tentacles on, try and get this kind of armor. They just look too imperial. They just look too uh, pre-heresy, uh, in my opinion. Um, but there you go. It is a possibility to do that, but if you are going to buy a third, a second set, um, you're going to be just left with, you know, the other parts as as extras too but if and when i do bump up the numbers uh, for my death guard force yeah i would buy a, a second set but um definitely no more than two sets uh with this so now we're on to the part of the video uh where i talk about the rules uh you'll find them in the elites section in the death guard codex they're not hq or anything like that their power level is 11 which is three less than the blight lord terminators points wise they're running at 50 points per model uh, which is a fair amount and then you've got to buy the 17 point man reaper and uh, so on their stat line is the same as the blight lord terminators uh, with the exception of their strength which is strength five their attacks which are attacks three and that's it they got the cataphracty uh, terminator armor so they're getting their two plus standard save and a four plus invulnerable the champion has one more attack so he's got four attacks now and his leadership is nine so stat line wise they are better than Terminators, but yeah, you only get three of them. You can have an additional three uh, Terminators. So you can have uh, six in total, unlike the Blight Lords where you can have 10. So the unit contains two Death Shroud Terminators and one Death Shroud Champion, and it can include up to three additional ones. They're armed with a Man Reaper and a Plague Spurt Gauntlet. Plague Spurt Gauntlet, the Plague Spurt Gauntlet, which is there, is a range 6 inches uh, pistol of D6. Strength is only 3 though, damage is 1, but it is a plague weapon and it does automatically hit. So that's pretty cool that you could have up to 6 shots that are automatically hitting. And then with the Champion, there's a possibility of 12 shots there. Yeah, if you've rolled 4 sixes, then you're going to get 24 shots. So it's not something to be um, sort of overlooked, getting 24 shots on something that automatically hits. Uh, yeah, the Strength 3 isn't amazing though. Now the Man Reapers, their Strength is plus 3, so you're getting a Strength 8 weapon. AP is minus 3, and the damage is D3, but it's also a Plague Weapon 2. So 4 attacks uh, that could have potentially 3 damage um, at Strength 8. Uh, AP minus three, re-rolling the ones is uh, is immense. Um, so these guys are close combat specialists and they've also got that little plague spurt gauntlet to kind of back them up a bit. The war gear options, obviously the champion may take a second plague spurt gauntlet, which I've done there. Their abilities, death to the false emperor, disgustingly resilient. They've got the cataphracty armor, eyes of Mortarion. Uh, so death guard characters excluding Mortarion uh, within three inches of any friendly death Rad terminator units add one to their attacks characteristic so unfortunately they're not going to buff mortarion and give him an extra one uh, but any other characters you're going to give them one more attack silent bodyguard which is probably the, one of the main reasons why you take them roll a dice each time a friendly death guard character is hit by a ranged or melee weapon whilst he is within three inches of this unit on a two plus one of the death Rad intercepts that hit the character is not hit by that attack but this unit is instead so that's immense it would be nice if it was six inches or seven inches i think seven inches would be pretty cool but obviously their movement is four inches so yeah that's um it's probably unlikely that they'd get there they'd intercept that shot or whatever you've got a very high chance of any of those uh, hits uh, hitting them which against toughness five with a save of two plus or an invulnerable four plus with two wounds with disgusting and resilient is uh is pretty decent and like the Blight Lord Terminators, they've also got Teleport Strike, where you can uh, teleport them uh, anywhere in the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from enemy models. I don't know whether you'd do that. It'd be pretty cool just to drop them around one of your characters at the start of a turn, rather than drop them, you know, nine inches away and then have to foot slog and try and charge units and things like that. They're just not going to get there before they get wiped out, I don't think, not with two wounds. I mean, if they have three wounds then mm, probably but uh but there you go and that's it for the rules for the uh, death Shroud terminators in summary i think they're incredible looking models uh they beat my expectations uh they were sold out uh, with games workshop for quite a few weeks so it might be an indication that they're popular and people like them 
or as we all know it might be just an indication of Games Workshop producing them in limited stock. Who knows? We'll never know. They were certainly a slow burner for me um, but I was so impressed with the Blight Lord Terminators that I just had to give these uh, three guys a shot and they definitely work well in this uh, Death Guard army that I'm building up and they're going to be great sat next to uh, Typhus or uh, Mortarion. Definitely fit the theme with, the, uh, with those Man Reapers too. What do you guys think of these uh, Death Shroud Terminators? Please do put it in the comments below. Uh, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Papa bless.